How is a smiley face pronounced when it comes in the middle of a word? You could just smile, or you could watch this video. Do you want to? Na dann los. Hallo, guten Tag. Mein Name ist Christina Day. Freut mich. I'm your online German tutor at simplygerman.online. So the two dots on top of a U are called Umlaut. Umlaut. And we put those on top of U's and also on top of an O and on top of an A. German never puts the two dots on top of E or I. That's other languages that do that, but uh, you don't want those. You want to stay right here. U without the umlaut in German is pronounced U, U. That is very similar to the English word U without the Y sound at the beginning. U, U, U. Or that could just be my German accent. I am sorry. Now with the two dots, U becomes U, U. So it's U. U, U, U. Now an A in German is pronounced A, uh, A, uh, like when you go to the doctors and they say open wide and say A uh, and they look at your throat. A, uh, but with the two dots it's pronounced E, A, E. And an O in German is pronounced O. Oh, it doesn't have that lovely wavy thing going on that an English O has. German is just very straight up and down. Oh, I have a friend from Glasgow who says he's from Glasgow. Glasgow. <laughs> I can't do accents. But that's the kind of O oh that you want. Now with the two dots, O oh, umlaut becomes Ö. Uh, 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 uh. But you know what? It's much easier to pronounce these sounds as part of a word. Here are some examples. First vowel, ah. Uh, try and say the word before I do. What's the first one? Aber. Und dann? Abend. Garten. Next vowel. Äh. Say the first word. Ähnlich. Und dann? Ärzten. Du ärmste. That's if you say that to a woman. If you say it to a man, it becomes du ärmste. The R at the end. Next vowel. O. Oder. Ohne, Ofen, und dann Ö, first word, möglich, blöd, Österreich, next vowel, U, first word is easy, U-Bahn, that's it, und dann, Uhr und dann Umwelt and last vowel Ü first word über üben Tür für prima This calls for a game I think don't you so let's play the game where I make a sound and you say what vowel I'm saying. So here are all the vowels. A, E, O, Ö, U, Ü, E, I. And for good measure, I'm going to throw in the letter R, which is R in German. R. Because I'm always asked, how do you pronounce E, E and R? 
So there you have it. And now let's number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. And I make a sound. You say the number in German. So I go ah. Uh, you say eins. Let's go. Ah. Uh, eins. Genau. Uh, uh, what number is that? Vier. Richtig. Ü. Uh, Ü. Uh, sechs. Genau. Sechs. U. Uh, U. Uh, fünf. Ä. Äh, Ä. Äh, commit to a number. Ä. Äh, zwei. Genau. O. 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 What number is it? O. Drei. I don't feel at all silly. Don't worry about me. O was drei. Now. Ü. Ü. Sechs. E. E. What number is that? E. That's sieben. If you said sieben, very good. How about e, e, zwei, e, sieben, e, zwei, er, er, neun. That one really sticks out. That's the easiest in this lot, isn't it? What about e? Not e, just e. E acht. E, e sieben. E, e zwei. Ö, 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 vier. Good. If you said vier, excellent. O, o drei. U, U, fünf. Ü, Ü, sechs. I, I, acht. R, R, neun. A, eins. I could play this game all day, but I think you got it. And I just want to add how important the umlaut is. Adding an umlaut makes a completely different word. For example, schön with the umlaut means nice or beautiful. Often said about the weather. Das Wetter ist schön. No umlaut, schon. Schon means already. The weather is already. Doesn't make any sense. Same with schwül with the umlaut, schwül. It's another weather thing and means hot and clammy, as opposed to schwul, no umlaut. Schwul means gay, as in not straight. So if you leave out the umlauts, you may be saying, I'm already gay, instead of the weather's nice but a bit clammy. So if there is an umlaut, you must say the umlaut and you must write the umlaut. And the get around, if you don't have an umlaut on your keyboard, then the get around is you put an E after the vowel that should have the umlaut. So you may know a Mr. Müller, but in his email address he will be Müller, U-E, U-E. And that is the standard get around. Any German would recognize that as Müller, schwül, schön. If you have any questions, please ask. Post them below. I love questions. If you want more free German classes, go to our website simplygerman.online and subscribe to our weekly newsletter for free weekly German training. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ä, a, ä. No, not like that.